Uh, good afternoon, so I'm here with my BSA Ultra 0.25 cow, sub 12 foot pound and uh, basically I'm going to take uh, 8 shots at each of the new pellet traps I'm going to test for impact at 25 metres using air arms, these are uh, uh, obviously 25.4 grain, yeah okay, 0.25 cow, uh, 8 shots at each and then we'll inspect the plates and see how they do. Now the Wolfman on the left has a 2.5 millimetre almost vertical plate where the uh, Target Air Company has a three millimeter back plate, but it's angled. So we'll see what the, what the effects are of this pellet. So 25 meters, so we're gonna zoom in. This uh, pad scope is pretty much zero center, I think, so we'll see how we do. So I think what we'll do, we'll take the Walkman first, and then the air gun target from the second. Okay, the wind is blowing a bit from left to right, so now we're going to move on to the air gun target company. Again, 8 shots, 25.4 grain. Final shot. So, for our next shot. So that's uh, eight shots at each target. And what we shall do, we shall take it indoors. This is the, the Ultra with the pad on. The pad was uh, it's roughly zero to the center, and uh, this was from a full fill of 230 bar. So those pellets didn't seem particularly consistent. I mean, you know, I had a tiny little bit of movement, but not enough. Uh, this rifle tends to settle down when it gets to about 2, 210, and the, the pellets become much more consistent. That's not bad, though. Uh, I love it. it is, like I said, this is a bit breezy down there, a bit crosswinds. So, yeah, uh, I think uh, we'll, what we'll do, we'll take her inside, we'll look at the back plates, we'll also measure the grouping as well, and uh, see what the results are. Thanks for watching. Uh, good afternoon, so I'm back with my two target uh, pellet traps here. Uh, these were tested just now. I've uh, used my BSA Ultra, which is a 0.25 cal, just a 12 foot pound, doing 11.7 foot pounds at the muzzle. I took eight shots each. Now on the left you have the Wolfman, which is 17 centimetre, and that has a vertical swinging, uh, like swinging plate. And the Airgun Target Company has a, uh, uh, a 14 centimetre, obviously, and that's an angled plate. 
Uh, the actual wall print is 2.5 millimeters thick, and that's 3 millimeters thick. Okay. Uh, see how it, the impact of the pellets are flattened these against the flat uh, panel, and basically you can see where they've hit. So yeah, there's no real issue there. Completely no no denting into the actual metal itself. Just a mark. Same with the actual Airgun Target Company. It's their mark, but this is angled. These were sprayed by me. You can see how they're deformed as they've hit them at an angle. Uh, accuracy wise it's very gusty down there but even then that's eight shots at uh, 25 cal uh, under a five pence piece no problem you know, slightly to one side I think that's the gusting wind same with that okay and that's with using my pad so that's 25 meters out so that's pretty good uh, so yeah that's 17 centimeters the Wolfman the other one's 14 centimeters I don't think they do them in either sizes either okay um, the FAC plate, you get an FAC plate to fit inside the Wolfman if you want to fight FAC. Obviously these are all these are both sub 12 foot pound pellet traps. I do believe Airgun uh, Target Company also do an FAC back plate as well. But it, as you can see, there's no issue with like, sub 12 foot pound rifles at 25 meters. Okay, And that's sort of like a minimum distance, 20, 25 meters you're going to fire, fire your air guns at. So yeah, uh, would I recommend them? Definitely I would. Uh, price wise, I think the, the one on the right, the Air Gun Target comes up about £45, and I think and the Wolfman was 28 So there's a, obviously quite a difference in price there. Uh, free delivery for the Wolfman, I think it was free delivery for the, the Air Gun Target Company as well. I'm pretty sure it was. So yeah, it depends what size you want. I, said, I don't think they do them in either or the size, so you've got a choice if you want a 17 centimeter. But yeah, these, these are really well made bits of kit, both of them. This is obviously comes flat pack, so you want to build it. Um, you can strip it and, and paint it like I have. Uh, this comes assembled as it is. Obviously, you've got a foam in the back, which basically cushions it. Uh, on the video shoot outside, I think you might notice on the microphone that the actual the airgun target on the uh, on the on the right was actually quieter. But that could be down to actually the thickness of the steel being three mil, or and also the angle at which the actual pellets hit. They weren't hitting square on, okay, like like these are, which have been completely flattened. Where these have been deformed as they've, as they've come off the back plate. So yeah, uh, definitely recommend them both uh, for sub 12 foot pound rifles. And like I said, the good thing about both these companies, they also make them with FAC plates as well that you can fit if you if you have an FAC rifle. Okay, so hope you like that video. Thanks for watching.